Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Let the moon lead the way. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, outreach astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. How about using the moon next week to lead you past Leo the lion to a weird double light in the sky that's not always there? Here, let me show you. Okay, our skies are set up for Monday, June 6th, about an hour after sunset, facing southwest. Look a third of the way up in the sky, and you should have no trouble spotting a five-day-old crescent moon. You might be asking, what does he mean, a five-day-old moon? I thought the moon was billions of years old. Well, you're right about that billions of years bit. I was talking about how the moon's appearance changes as it goes through its cycle of phases, from new moon, which means no moon, then a couple days of crescent moons, to first quarter moon, then a couple more days of gibbous moons to full moon, then gibbous moons again to last quarter moon, and then crescent moons again until we reach new moon once more. This cycle averages about 29 and a half days from new moon to new moon. So when astronomers talk about a five day old moon, they mean it's been five days since the moon was new. A seven day old moon would be near first quarter. A 14 day old moon is near full moon. The days and the phases don't line up exactly, so what would a 21-day-old moon look like? Anyway, let's get back to the sky. The five-day-old crescent moon will be there to greet you in the evening sky on Monday, and will be down and to the right of a bright blue star, Regulus. Regulus is the brightest star in one of the brighter constellations of spring, the famous Leo the Lion. Regulus marks the heart of the lion, and a backward question marks of stars draw out the head and mane. A triangle of stars up to the left marks the lion's hind quarters. On Tuesday the 7th, at the same time, the moon will be to the left of Regulus, and will be a bit wider. Wednesday the 8th, the moon will be at first quarter, and even farther to the left. The next night, Thursday the 9th, the moon will be closing in on a tight little pair of lights in the sky. The brighter one is the ringed planet Saturn, and the companion is a star named Porima in Virgo the Virgin. Porima is named for a pair of female deities in the Roman pantheon. This is kind of neat because Porima is a binary star, a pair of stars that orbit each other very closely. The stars are very close to each other now, and it takes a good sized telescope to see them as separate stars. So right now we have the unique situation of a double star Parima looking like it's a double star to the naked eye because the planet Saturn just happens to be close by. Saturn has actually been going backwards across the sky since the beginning of this year to get close to Parima. At the beginning of the year, Saturn was almost seven degrees away from Parima and it will be at its closest less than a half a degree away from Parima in the middle of June. Saturn then turns around and moves away from Parima, and by the time we lose Saturn below the horizon in September, it will be once again almost seven degrees away from it. So the double star-like light you'll see next week won't be there long, so be sure to catch it while Saturn is right next door to Parima. Then the next night, Friday, June 10th, the moon will be closing in on Spica, the brightest star in Virgo. And on Saturday, June 11th, we'll be just past Spica, one more time, Monday, June 6th, the moon will be down to the right of Regulus. Tuesday, June 7th, a slightly wider moon will be left of Regulus. The next night, Wednesday the 8th, the first quarter moon is farther left of Regulus. Thursday the 9th, a waxing gibbous moon will be closer to Saturn, and then on the 10th will be past them and be just to the right of Spica. Saturday the 11th, a brighter and wider moon will be to the left of Spica. So, that's what you have to look forward to next week. A growing moon showing you Regulus and the lion, and then leading you closer to a pair of lights that are a planet plus a star. This is Dean Regis, and I hope you keep looking up.